Hello to all students. This is Professor Masood Fuzel. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss water vascular system. And this system we are going to discuss uh, especially for echinoderms. So the animals which belong to phylum echinodermata are known as echinoderms. And uh, we are taking an example of sea star the water vascular system of C star. So first of all, we have to look at the diagram. So I have already uh, drawn a diagram. So if we take a cross section of a C star, as you know that a C star has a central disc. And from central disc, five arms originate. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have taken a cross section across this central disc and five arms area which contain water vascular system of this animal. So let's start with a small structure which is known as madriporite. Madriporite is a sieve like disc, a disc like or a pore like which have small sieves, small openings in it for inlet of water which is attached to the dorsal surface of the body of the animal. But I have taken it out over here to explain in detail. So madriporite is basically inlet of water. Water enters through madriporite where pores in the madriporite filters larger particles present in the water. Then this water enter in a tube like structure which is known as stone canal which leads towards a ring of canal which is known as ring canal which is present in the center of the disc of the body of sea star and water from madriporite through stone canal enter into the ring canal. Ring canal has extensions in each arm right over here, 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 here and here. These extensions are called radial canals which extend through extend throughout the length of each arm of the sea star. And these radial canal open into small structures which are known as tube feet which are used for the locomotion of sea star which we will discuss in the upcoming lectures. So first of all water enter from madriporite through stone canals enter into ring canal and from ring canal enter into radial canals and from radial canal it enters into tube feet. So this is all the vascular system of C star but along with this system there are certain parts of the body which are known as polyan vesicles and tidman bodies which have specific role uh, related to the vascular system. Now let's discuss uh, these uh, uh, water vascular system in detail with some points. Number one series what is water vascular system water vascular system is a series of water filled canals usually five or multiple of fives and end in tube feet this system originate embryologically it means that this system already start to build in their embryonic life it is ciliated internally to move to control the movement of water across these tubes Ring canal surrounds mouth as I mentioned earlier over here. This is a ring canal which is surrounding the mouth. Tidman bodies produce silomocyte. Attached with this ring canal there are certain bodies which are known as Tidman bodies. These produce silomocytes. Silomocytes are specialized white blood cells which are present in silom and these are specialized for defensive mechanism. They engulf microbes like viruses and bacteria to protect the animal from certain infections. Pollen bodies are used for fluid storage. Along with this system you can see small vesicle like structure which are known as pollen bodies. These pollen bodies can store some type of fluid to maintain the water vascular system. Madriporite is inlet for water as I mentioned earlier. This is a madriporite sieve like structure which allows enter to pass through it and in the water vascular system. And the radial canals are those canals which originate from the ring canal and extend throughout the length of each arm of the sea star. So that's all for today. See you in the next lecture.